Adam, congratulations on re-signing for Kurz and Ashton. How does it feel and how did the talks come about? Yeah, they approached me um, before Christmas really uh, and it was kind of a, a no-brainer for myself. Uh, the position I'm in, uh, you know, I've, I've moved locally now, having, having travelled the country for the past 12, 12 years with football. Um, you know, as soon, as soon as I arrived here, when, when Adam brought me here, uh, I felt a good vibe with the place. Uh, everything that they, they try and do is right. Um, and so when I first came, it was uh, I settled in really well. And you know, when the when the talks came about before Christmas, I I kind of made my my mind up uh, there and then before even talks properly began. So it was very very straightforward. This will be teeing up going into the next campaign, your fourth season with Curzon and Ashton. What have those seasons been like and sort of what improvements and progression have you seen around the club? You spoke there when you first were brought in with Adam Lakeland. How has that sort of progressed further? Yeah, obviously when I came in, um, there was a team that, uh, you, know, you know, Adam wanted to try and make his own team. So obviously when I came in, he made uh, quite a few changes to the team, which which what managers do. Um, great lads, it was a great team, doing well. But uh, you know, when when you have a manager like Adam when he first came in to try and do things right and more professional, then that's what really you know pushes me to to go out and put everything I've got into it. And he he brought that he he brought that with him. And ever since you know uh, Marnie's taken over with the staff he's got, they've carried it on, and it's 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 it's, it's a very good feeling, uh, especially for the players as well. Um, Obviously, we're a part-time football team, but it doesn't feel like that. And when you arrive here with everything, with the changing rooms and the pitch that we we play on every week and the, everything, you guys, it, it feels professional. You know, I've spent many years in the professional game, so I I kind of know um, the differences. And it just yeah, as soon as I arrived, it was it, it was it felt felt professional again. I suppose aspects of that professionalism has also led you to captaining the side on a few different occasions, especially this season as well. What has that been like and how does that feel from sort of a personal and a professional level? Yeah, it feels really good, especially the, where I'm at now at my career. You know, I'm, I'm 33 years old now, so I'm uh, classed as a senior player. So, but to, to get that, you know, to get, to get the armband and to lead the team out, uh, is, is is a great honour at any level. It should be a great honour. You know, you have you have the long, young lads coming through, looking up to you as if to say, you know, what do we do now? How how do we do this? Asking you stuff on the pitch, and it makes you feel feel good. Um, and at the same time, it makes you push that further for, for these lads. You know, they they're asking you for help, and you, you you tell them what you think, and you give them that help. And and also on the pitch, you you try it. You, for some reason, it gives you that bit more. To do that bit extra, uh, and yeah, it's a it's a great feeling. Now, having to trudge through the memory banks a little bit, I know there's one moment that will be on my mind for this question, and perhaps some of the fans that are watching along. What's been one of your favourite moments so far at your time here? Uh, well, I'd, I'd imagine would you would you say the Scarborough goal? Maybe, yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was a good moment. Um, wasn't even meant to be in the box for that. I just thought, well, why not? Um, I think it was a bad cross actually in the end, <laughs> not even meant to go to me, but yeah, probably that because it gave us that, you know, after the game, the, the, the way the changing room were, it was like, wow, we can actually really go on and maybe do this. And it just gave us that chance for the next week, you know, it's all about what's happening on that day. And it's like at the minute, we, we, we're going for a bit of a tough run, but we're still doing better than we did last season at this stage. and. We finished really strong last season, so it's it, anything could change. We might turn up on uh, on Saturday and and put in a great performance and get three points, and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, we, let's we're going into the next game, hoping to get into the playoffs. And at the end of the day, there can't be anyone around here starting the season with Curzon Ashton saying the playoffs is our aim. You know, I have heard it a lot of times, but the budget that the club's got compared to a lot of teams in this league is, you know, it's nowhere near. So for what the staff are doing, all the way down to you guys, to the players on the pitch, it's, it's brilliant that we're seeing Curzon now competing in this league, the way they're doing, is 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 fantastic. Um, and that just comes down to the way things are done off the pitch, first and foremost. 
with that in mind, I suppose, then looking ahead to the near future, where would you like to see the club going towards? Would you like that playoff conversation to be a little bit more frequent or is it just, let's just do our thing and what happens, happens? You've got to always have ambitions. If you don't, there's no point in doing anything in life. Um, so you've always got to think of the next step. Even if you can't achieve it, you, there's no way you achieve it. You have to believe that somehow you need to get there. Um, absolutely, we're we're now a club where we're not just in this league to stay in this league. We're 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 not a club who let's just fight for our place in this league and be a mediocre team or just uh, you know let's don't get relegated. Which is the the words when I first came is we're a club who stays in the league. Now since my first day here and today, that's all changed. We're, we're now a team who can compete with the best teams in this league and. As we sit here, there's no reason why we shouldn't be saying from now on that we are a team that now is pushing for playoffs. Like there's probably about twelve teams who say that every week, every every season. But it's true. You know how tight the league is. It's it's a it's a hard league. You know, as you know, everyone can beat anyone, whether you're top or bottom. But there's no reason why Curzon Ashton can't say every year. Well. We'll go and do it again. We're going to do it because we're proving it now. You know, we, we're doing it, and so yeah, there's no reason why that shouldn't be the case. And what about for yourself? What other kind of near future ambitions do you have as a player? Is it more goals to your game? Is it learning a bit more about the tactical side to potentially look beyond the playing career? What What's next? Yeah, I, I haven't really thought about that much. Um, you know, with with, with systems. Um, in terms of goals, you know, it, it, it all depends if you're in a, in a situation where you play more deeper, then you know, your aim isn't necessary to get goals. I mean, everybody would love to, to create more goals, get more goals, and that's the aim of the game. Um, but throughout my, throughout my career, I've never been in that kind of position where it is my job to get goals. Um, so I've never really thought about that. Um, but in terms of like the tactical side and managing side of things, obviously each year pushes me further to that. Um, I do enjoy all that stuff. Um, I've looked into a lot of that stuff, done a lot of research on it, just for my own personal self. And uh, yeah, you, you never know. You know, I'm, I'm hoping I've still got a few more years left in the locker to to put in shifts out there for the lads. But um, yeah, football's been my life for for many many years and. Um, as you've seen with a lot of players, it, it, you don't just fade away once your career's done on the pitch. Um, you you kind of get sucked into it because you miss it, and it's it's kind of all I know at the minute. And you know, it's probably all I'll ever know. So yeah, I haven't really thought about it, but it would be a shame just to pack it all up and and forget about it all. So management maybe one day. Well, for now, it's always a joy to see you play, and we'll get to see it a lot more into next season, Adam Barton. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.